show you guys how to make a bacon uh, bacon with chestnuts so the chestnut was wrapped with bacon so we need all we need is like bacon just a regular bacon that you can get in the supermarket um yeah and then uh chestnuts that i peeled already and chop it into it depends on how big it is so the chestnut is pretty big so i chop it with like maybe half or this is what i'm doing is just chopping it off like that but i like it fresh like i i got this for cheap and at a like lucky uh, asian supermarket we are the water chestnuts and yeah but you can buy like the one in the can it's easier <laughs> if you guys don't have time to do this and yeah I put it in the water so it's gonna be like all fresh and you know so and then we need of course a toothpick um, we have to like soak this in the water so it's not gonna burn when we're cooking uh, the bacon with the chestnuts so yeah this will help hold the the chestnuts and the bacon so it's not gonna be all over the place when we're like in like cooking them in the oven so so yeah I'm gonna show you guys later how to wrap them and stuff so yeah stay tuned okay so we're done peeling the chestnuts i'm just gonna show you guys quick how to wrap them um the toothpick here i soak them into water so it's not gonna burn when we're doing it uh, when we're like cooking it i mean take our bacon here which is this thing here and then we're just gonna half this because it's too much or too too long um I'm gonna take a chestnuts that I soaked them in into water. Um, and then we're just gonna wrap it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna wrap it around the chestnuts until it's like covered, or maybe you can roll it. I don't know. It's up to you guys how you do it. And then take a toothpick and then just put it on top to secure that, so it's not gonna be. All over the place when we're cooking it so yeah so make sure that the you know this thing can stand up like that so this is perfect so it will look good when you kind of like serve them into, and put it in a plate or something it's they can stand up and then you can do the same like over and over until everything is like that. Alright. So, yeah, basically, that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna show you the pan that I'm using. Okay, so let's. So, yeah, close up. It's like this. Sorry about the mess there. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty much, it's like that. Then I'm gonna bring it here. Okay. Okay. This is the pan that I'm using. It's just a baking pan. We're gonna put this here. It's a baking pan, and I wrap. Well, I I just line them with um, foil. So it's just like a normal baking pan, and line them with foil like this, and then. Preheat your oven into 350. Um, yeah, 350. And when it's like preheated, you can put your um, uh, wrapped bacon or wrapped chestnuts or <laughs> whatnot. And then um, put your timer. I use a timer so that I'm not gonna go like overcook or burn it. I put it on for 25 minutes so yeah 
So we're gonna put them in the oven 25 minutes for 350. So yeah, and then the finished product is this. My da my daughter keeps taking this um, like one by one. It's gonna because this is my second batch already, like cooking. So it looks like that. And it's just hi. Hi. Do you like them? Yeah. Are they yummy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Do you know what it is? Um. Um. Bacon and chestnuts. Bacon and chestnuts. I love it. You love it. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. And you can make a. I, I want more wiggles. Okay, I will go there. Okay. <laughs> You can make a simple sauce for this. It's just you mix the Philadelphia cream cheese with a honey barbecue sauce together in a pan, in a saucepan. I don't, ha unfortunately, I don't have the cream cheese right now. That's why I'm, I can't make them, but it's okay. But I'm just telling you guys a simple sauce for this that I actually discovered <laughs> in YouTube here. In YouTube. It's gonna be like delicious. I really love this stuff um, it's great for appetizer entertaining people when people are like coming over to your house so yeah I hope this is helpful um, yeah this is not my original res recipe um, obviously but uh, yeah I just want to share you guys like a simple um, and very easy way of like making an appetizer so yeah hope you enjoy it and yeah let's enjoy this right now <laughs> okay bye